rose blended with the note of violet and I have five perfumes in my collection. The very first perfume I'd like to share is Rochery. This is a beautiful gourmand like style rose perfume and this is blended with the notes of rose, violet and tonka bean and musk and this is beautiful. Rochery is a fluffy soft perfume and you really detect that violet note and it's fluffy with heliotrope but I think what drew me to this perfume initially when I first tried it it was the notes of almonds it was a soft almondy musky perfume it's the note of tonka bean that gives it that feel it's nutty it's sweet it smells like almonds it smells like a macaron it's really pretty and soft and dainty, very delicate. Rochery is a fragrance I would wear more in the evenings. I would dress this up more. I wouldn't have this as my signature scent, I don't think. Rochery is romantic, feminine, very pretty. I would want to wear this for date night. It just smells almost like a hug. It's soft, very fluffy. You receive a rose, but it's a beautiful rose violet powder. And sometimes it could remind you of a fragrance that's a little bit more vintage leaning or something you smelled many years ago. It's a blend of that rose, violet, and reminds me of fragrances that I would have smelt in the past as well. This is a 100ml bottle that I have here, and this fragrance would last on my skin, I would say up to eight hours. This is a high performing fragrance, and it's really soft and delicate, but it sticks on your skin, it lingers. Beautiful trail with this one and sillage. The sillage is great in this, the longevity is really nice. And what I do love is this is going to stay on your clothing for maybe a few days. I would spray this on my scarf and I can still smell it after the second day or so. So this is really nice. So if you like Rochery, if you've tried it, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think of this one. The next perfume in my collection is Ananda. And this is by M. Mikulev. This is a blend of rose and violet with the addition of mimosa and vanilla. So this is fluffy and beautiful. Oh my gosh, guys, when I tell you how much I love this perfume, it's unbelievable. I love this one. So we have the mimosa in this perfume, making it extremely fluffy, powdery, very feminine. This is a soft perfume, and it does smell like violets, but it's blended so well. It's so soft and clean. It's really pretty. And there's the addition of some fruits in here. So you have blackcurrant, there's pear notes, which I love the note of pear. And then also you have some vanilla, there's a lang in here as well, and some musk. So if you think about it, you've got your rose and violet, and in addition to violet, you have mimosa and musk. So you can imagine, it's like a triple strength of soft, powdery elements to this perfume. This is really feminine, high-class perfume. It smells really nice, and I would recommend this again more as a date night scent. It's really soft and romantic. It's an easy perfume to wear, and if this is your style, you can easily make this your signature scent. You can wear this in the office, but for me, this smells more dressed up and highly elegant. You're going somewhere that could be more of an occasion or out for dinner, I would wear Ananda. Up next, I have Miss Dior Eau de Parfum. Now, this is your rose, and it's blended with some more purple notes, which is iris. You have vanilla, tonka bean in this fragrance as well. And for me, the purple notes really shine through in this fragrance, but they are the most long lasting on my skin. So when I spray this fragrance, you receive this sweet fruity note. You've got the sandalwood, you have vanilla, tonka bean, there's benzoin in this perfume as well. And then this perfume dries down to the iris and it's the iris, that powdery feel that really performs on my skin and it's the most long lasting note on my skin. So it's a combination of a touch of rose and you have that iris and lots of sweet notes. It's a beautiful powdery fragrance that's sweet. It's really well blended, it's really lovely. Another fragrance I go crazy for is this one here, Nuit d'Amour by Guerlain. And when I first tried this perfume, I fell in love because it was the note of a rose and violets. There's also some iris in this perfume as well. It's really sweet. There's the addition of musk, so it makes it even more powdery and soft. It's quite sweet as well. It's like a sweet floral perfume and it's delicate. 
Oh my gosh, it's really pretty. It's really nice. If you like a violet and a rose blended fragrance, then I would try this one. I believe this fragrance has been discontinued, especially here in the UK, but you may be able to pick this up perhaps in Paris or maybe have it ordered and hopefully they're going to bring this back because they're bringing back a few of their fragrances. Nuit de Moor is a violet perfume blended with rose that's really soft and dainty and feminine. I highly recommend this one. The next perfume I have is Trezor in Love. In addition to the rose and violet this fragrance has my favourite note of pear. There's nectarine in here as well, lots of mustard. This is really soft and powdery, really beautiful. I love this fragrance and again you've got that nectarine, you've got a bit of peach, there's some violet in here. So if you do like the Miss Dior collection and if you like the Nuit d'Amour it's going to give you that sort of vibe. It's powdery rose and violet with some fruits as well. This fragrance has a very clean dry down and the bottle is ever so cute. I have a 30ml bottle here so that's what it would look like to size and this is perfect to put in your makeup bag or carry in your purse. And it's really romantic like this smells like February roses violet musk it's really beautiful a feminine perfume by Lancome Trezor in love this perfume is rose and it's blended with violet and iris really powdery orange blossom lily of the valley a touch of patchouli in here as well it's a really fresh powdery fragrance extremely powdery if you love violet and if you love iris i would go out and try this because that is what you're going to pick up it's the main component and then you have a bit of rose in here touch of patchouli and the orange blossom is really pretty in here as well also lots of jasmine in this perfume feminine plural makes a perfect daytime scent if you're looking for a fresh perfume that's dominated in those purple flowers you really pick up the iris you really pick up that violet it's powdery as well and really clean it's a fresh perfume to wear it's very strong for a floral perfume it's heavy violet heavy iris i recommend feminine plural as your daytime scent it just has that vibe it smells clean and shower fresh not citrusy nothing like that not sharp it just smells clean and very powdery so i do recommend this as a daytime scent i have one more fragrance to share with you but this perfume does not contain the notes of rose but it is a purple floral. This is Guerlain's Insolence and this is the Eau de Parfum version here that I have. I believe this is a 75 ml, so it's 2.5 ounces. And this fragrance is purple flowers, iris and violet and strawberry notes. It is so pretty. That strawberry really makes it so sweet. Really sweet, playful, feminine, romantic, then you have tonka bean, there's vanilla, highly sweet, really pretty. It's matching a lot of my fragrances that I'm discovering this year and some new releases. It has that strawberry note, so I am in love with this one here. You may not have the rose, so I recommend this to those of you who are not a rose lover, but you do have orange blossom instead, the purple flowers, strawberry notes and vanilla, highly feminine, highly complimented. Every time I wear this perfume, someone will have to say something about it and I don't blame them because it's beautiful. We were out for dinner and a friend of mine was complimenting another lady and he was saying, you smell beautiful, what are you wearing? And she said, I'm wearing Insolence by Guerlain. So another lady wearing this fragrance, it's just really beautiful, highly feminine. And it does last a while, I would say as well. It projects really far, beautiful sillage with this one as well. I would say I get about five to six hours in this lovely bottle here. So. If you have any fragrances that you recommend that contain some notes of rose and violet, leave me your comments down below. And this is one of my favourite perfume blends as well. So leave me your comments down below to share with myself and others. Stay tuned for the next episode where I'm going to be sharing more of my rose fragrances with different blends coming up for you. And if you have any suggestions, leave your comments down below. Let me know which bottle is your favourite. Would it be Ancelance? Would it be Miss Dior? Or could it be Rose Cherie? Could it be Trezor in Love or Ananda? Let me know down below which perfume is your favourite from my list today. If you enjoyed today's video, give me a like and I will see you in the next episode. Bye.